Mmm, that's delicioso. The f*** out of my face. Samson Nights. We're, <laughs> we're here at, we're here, was it Dejo? Dejo and San Mateo. I've never tried it. It's some Korean. Korean. It's with the, the cheese thingy. I don't know what it's called. Hi. We're gonna try. I'm gonna do a, my first food review now. <laughs> Not prepared at all. Just saying. Right after. I'm ready to eat. My first food. Let's see if it's good. <laughs> Apparently it's purple rice. Let, let me do my job. <laughs> oh, it looks like ube. That's purple. That's, that's purple. That's that's purple. Oh, here. Sorry. That's get the first bite. That's, that's purple. That's not focusing. It's not focusing. That's purple. That's purple. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it's my first time. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's yeah. go. <laughs> so one of the more popular things on the menu from Deho is the oxtail beef and short rib, which I thought was really good. Uh, but also one of the main draws to Deho is the fact that they melt the cheese right over all the food which I personally really like. It might look a little bit weird or you might think it might taste weird, but please, I beg of you, you gotta try it. It's so good. I absolutely loved it. I would like to say it is an add-on. You don't have to get it, but again, I highly recommend it because I think it's hella cool or hot. Yeah, get it. Nah, okay, I'm just kidding. Also on the side, you get all the fixings that you normally would get at a KBBQ restaurant, like, you know, kimchi, uh, veggies, some other stuff that honestly, because to be honest, I don't really eat those, but um, also you can see us talking to the, I, I believe he's the manager, shout out him. Honestly, the staff was really nice. Uh, we were there pretty late, but uh, they were very nice to us and they're very accommodating, so shout out them. So far, my favorite thing is the beef. And I, I really, I really like the rice cake. I've never had it before. I can't believe you've never had rice cake. Oh What's your review? What's your, what's your rating? <laughs> ten out of ten. Oh, but like ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I also give it a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Rice? Not that impressive. I know. I think the rice is just plain. Right. right. And put it in your bowl. <laughs> Is this the oxtail? I'm guessing it's oxtail. This is oxtail and rice cake. I've never had a rice cake. Yeah. Now we're trying the oxtail. I think the rice just tastes like rice. You don't think it tastes like better than regular rice? Really? It's kind of plain. Maybe I just suck. No. That's what it is. You just suck. I think the beef short rib was really well made. Uh, as someone who really likes beef, I thought the flavors of the marinade were a great mix of like savory and sweet, and it wasn't tough at all, it was super tender. Uh, same goes with the oxtail. I think the only thing that kind of annoyed me was just the bone because there's there's like a huge bone, just like a little, little piece of meat around, um, but that's a pretty small complaint. Other than that, again, same thing, the marinade is really good, super, super tender. Like everything was just, nothing was, t none of the meats were tough at all, which I think was really great. I will say though, my cousin Hella did try to hype up the purple rice, but to be honest, my girlfriend and I both agreed that it really wasn't that great. Um, <laughs> I think it was pretty interesting that it was purple. I think just looking at it, I expected like a more taro or like ube flavor, but it really just tasted like nothing. Um, but other than that, you know, I think it was a good, a good add on, but honestly, I didn't eat it too much. I mostly just focused on the meat paws. Another thing is that if you haven't tried rice cakes, you really gotta try it. All of us uh, definitely like the rice cakes. It was like a big highlight for all of us. We Actually, we were all kind of fighting over um, who was getting the rice cakes because um, the chef threw in a lot of uh, potatoes. So every single time we tried to grab a quote unquote potato, oh, sorry. So every single time we try to grab, I fucked up, I thought, I thought, I thought, bro, damn. <laughs> every time we try to grab a quote unquote rice cake, it ended up being a potato. <laughs> so. Now this part doesn't really have much to do with food, but overall, I, I really think the ambiance slash environment of a restaurant can really add to the food. I don't know why, I just think when a restaurant is really cute or like has cool like uh, designs or cool like utensils, I don't know, I think it just kind of adds to the whole restaurant feel. They really decked it on the black and gold and honestly, I just think it was a really nice aesthetic. 
Thank, Thank you. So much. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. 10. 10, out of 10. I'll give it a fifteen out of ten. I'll go wow. again. It would have been a sixteen, but the rice wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 I have to downgrade a little bit. But... Let me know in the comments below what other restaurants you want me to go to. <laughs> okay. Bye.